But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Me ma wa kwa ba edi ba pen dream TV. So make sure say obe subscribe to channel. No no a click bell. Make sure say the the news to our on sabi to me a can in term no wait here. I feel so make sure say obe like it. Now nah, what comment and what share I'm a full for soon saka. Now comment session ho so no person or chill I've been a bit me a day or dream chile at honum na man for so and ya be a king kind. Now only set pen dream TV dear. And yeah and some I cost to a gana yum politics money a day banner yeah sakaya and yeah the abroad tina so me, me video I and saka a person no chair and a ya day banner tea. Remember more the astro so be her video we a man is here we here now watch your wife in our comment session I see. To me, I always say this that if His Excellency John Dramani Mahama says something, I trust him. I trust him not because I belong to his political party. I trust him not because I am an NDC communicator. But I trust him because I am yet to see someone giving me at least five things His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has said that turns out to be false. And if you can give me at least two, I'll be happy. That turns out to be false. Yes. I'm not the one to give you. Okay. And so, I trust Chandraman Mahama. And I always say this, that look, if Muslims get the opportunity that, okay, fine, I am not going to reduce it drastically, but I'm going to take out some waivers from the 75,000, I think it's going to be an excitement to all of us. I said this before. I am a Muslim. A typical Muslim and a Northerner. So I understand. I know my, my sister would disagree with me, but honestly, she is not a Muslim. And so she will not understand the sentiment of our, what we feel. No, not it necessarily. Is, not necessarily. Yes, but for me, how I feel, she wouldn't feel that way. Okay. Because I would be excited to, I mean, pay for my dad to visit Hajj. I'd be excited to pay for my uncle, my, my, my sister, myself, to visit the Hajj. But due to the high cost of it, you can't afford it. And this is somebody who has promised his own people. How, how the, um, the, the, the other promises made to the Muslim community, um, how is it coming up? Uh, we have the Zango Development Fund, at least I know that. Um, I, because we are on Hajj, I didn't want to mix up things. Yes, I know. I, but I, how is it? Because maybe by the development of the Zango communities, things might improve a little bit, and then it will help you embark on such journeys and stuff like that. But uh, as it is now, what can you tell me about all those? I mean, uh, let me tell you the, the truth. There are so many things Bamiya has promised his own people. One of them is the 16 senior high school. I am saying this, that I'm, I'm waiting to see one that has been commissioned and have students. One, just one. That has been commissioned in one of our Zongo community. And then we have students attending that school. We do not have. My constituency, we've not received ours. Which not constituency? even as Which constituency? I also not constituency. Okay. Not even one. Baumia promised the people of Nima, both Baumia and President Nanad, promised the people of Nima to turn Nima into Nima Villa. Whatever that, that plan was, I don't know. But then you can take your cameras to Nima right now and see the state of Nima. After the Nima, we are in. After the Nima promise, <laughs> I think it was just one of those things. One of what? I mean, okay, one of his word. lies. Oh no, I mean, I, but I can't one use of the word lies. But Nima Villa, you, I mean, you know but that I mean, in eight years we can't have Nima Villa. <laughs> okay. If, so, if Villa is what I'm, I'm seeing as Villa. Mm. Okay, so why do you, why do you, what does Baumia deprive from lying to his own people? I didn't say he lied. Oh, I'm not saying you said he, he lied, but I am saying, because I am a Muslim, he's a Muslim. 
I'm from the north, he's from the north. So what joy does he derive from lying to us? His but you were happy people. when they gave you the promise. Were you not happy? So why would you promise something you cannot fulfill to your own people, not any other people? So, see, if, if a leader promises you, looking at the, the current state of Nima, and says, I'm, changing, I'm going to change Nima into Nima Villa, if it's possible, you, the person, that, the listener, you will know. And if it's not possible, you will know. So why do you decide to believe in it and then eight years after you are complaining? Mm. If it's possible, you will know that this is possible. Annie, mm. you are trying to make it look like the Nima Villa was something that is impossible. Yet, a whole vice president made that promise to his own people. Okay, let's, let's just... I'm not trying to make it look like... I'm telling <laughs> you that it was impossible to do that in eight years. But why would you say something that is impossible? Was it to just, just for votes? That is what we call lies. For you to say something just to make mockery out of your own people. That is, that is what we call lies. And, and I will not, I'm not saying you said so. But it's, Annie, what, how, would you, how would you call it? A failed promise? No, an, an impossible dream. <laughs> <laughs> so, Annie, <laughs> no, I it's, mean, it's, it's a lie. It's not, you just want to sugarcoat it so that it wouldn't look like, but it's a it's lie. A, see, but what, it, it can be that I want to, this is what I want to do. And I'll tell you this is what I want to do. What, what the, the, the vice president or the president failed to, to tell you, if you're writing objectives, they'll tell you that you can't write objectives without dates. Okay. You don't put timelines on objectives. They, don't, they are not objectives. They are just ideas you've written down. Okay. But they become objectives when you have put dates to them. Did they put dates to this? I mean, the vice president and the president, when they gave you the promise, were, were there dates that within this period, we're finishing Nima, uh, making it, in, 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 turning into Nima village? And you can Google and then you see. No, there were no dates away. I'm telling oh, you that there were no okay. dates away. So there were not so, uh, so, objectives. There were just promises or ideas so why, that were thrown out there. What, what, what called for that promise? Did the people of Nima requested for Nima Villa? Must you recall for something good? So um, if, must you request if, if, for if it's good? something that it cannot be materialized, why do you then go ahead to say it? And why should you be the one to be pushed against your own people? Mm. You get the point yes. I am making. And one other thing is that Baumia okay. lied. As you are landing. Mm. Baumia lied to the national chief imam. A whole national chief imam. On a day of Eid. You are surprised, eh? <laughs> Bamiyan's lie has no limits. Or oh, you don't know? And you are surprised. You are surprised. I'm waiting to hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bamiyan lied to his own chief imam on the day of Eid. When he said to our chief imam that the king of Saudi Arabia is promising to build the medical school for the northern people on the day of it in front of our national chief imam and have you ever met the national chief imam yes, before please. have you seen were you able to look through his eyes on that day when you met him it difficult to look at the national chief imam yeah. because of the way he we, is we we revere him we use the word revere uh -huh. yeah he's a revered uh -huh. He said, revere. Yeah, he's a revere. Let me get either. some English words to keep in my dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Baumia said on a, what do you call it? On the day of Eid, told we the Muslim who came to pray on that very day, including our national chief imam, look through the eyes of the national chief imam and lie to him that the king of Saudi Arabia, I want to find the name of that man, Okay, Salam, uh, Salam Bun Abdul Aziz is going to finance a medical school, <coughs> university, a medical university in the up north, including 42 secondary schools. Including 42 secondary schools. And this was the biggest lie Baumia have peddled. And this is very shameful because you don't do that on the day of it after fasting.
30 days to ask for forgiveness and then the next thing you will do is to lie to your own people. Okay, why do you call it a lie? This is how CTFM captured, captured it. Saudi came to build a medical university, 42 SHSs in northern region, Baumia. That's what you're talking so about. They've built so Vice it. President Dr. Baumia has unveiled plans for the construction of medical university in the northern part of the country. The proposed university is part of the program from the Saudi government, which includes the construction of 42 senior high schools. Uh, speaking at the Independence Square during the event to mark the Eid of Adha, Dr. Baumia said the move said the move when implemented will provide opportunities for the youth to pursue science-based courses and improved academic outcomes. The Vice President reiterated that the government is committed to provide, uh, providing more opportunities to disadvantaged communities, particularly the Zangos, adding that the construction of the medical school in the north falls in line with his vision. This publication was done on the August 11, 2019. Was it built and was the medical school built? No. So what is that one? So which is the lie? Is it, is it the Saudi Arabian government to, uh, uh, Was there any initiative to partner with that? Ghana? Has Ghana received? Or is the failure to build the school? Of course. The failure to build the school? Of course. Okay. So if Saudi Arabia has had, they've had the, um, uh, the plans to build a school for the people of the northern region. And then you said so. You said which year? 2019. How long now? We're in 2024 now. So what have you seen? Hey, now you're asking me questions. I'm not asking you. <laughs> because I don't want to say something so that I, it will look like I am the one no, saying it. No, you tell me it. what you have seen. No, you just, you just read it. Uh, so I was researching. I'm, yes, uh, I'm only saying uh, this so that we all understand that. Uh, I am not pending this. I'm not saying this to implicate okay. uh, uh, the, the vice president. Okay, I haven't you seen the school. So what is that one to Annie? It's not a lie. It's, it's just failure. So, Andy, why do you keep saying it's Since a failure? Since you're asking me questions, I want to give you my answers. <laughs> Andy, why do you keep saying it's a failure when clearly you could see that, look, Muslim, Islam, has some principles when it comes to lie. And so that is why the Prophet Muhammad wasallam always say that, in as much as you are not able to do something or you will not be able to do something, do not mention it. Oh. Yes. That's what Annie. the, uh, sorry, Quran says. Yes. Annie, assuming on this panel discussion, and then somebody heard from someone that Sada sitting on Metro TV said Baumia is a liar. That person who is going to say it should say it as if he was told by someone mm -hmm. and not that he watched himself. Okay. That is how far Islam is against lies. And so even when you, somebody told you, and indeed that is what Sada said, when you are telling a story to the third party, let the third party understand that I heard this from Annie, that Sada said so, so, and so. <clears throat> so what is it if it is not a lie? You say this to your national, that day everybody clapped and jumped in joy. 2019, we are in 2024. And